Hi, my name is Pam Wallace, and I've lived here in Waukesha with my husband Rob for almost 52 years. And I'm Rob Wallace, Pam's husband. Also, we are the parents of three lovely daughters and eight grandchildren. And we're very grateful for the many ways that our sons-in-law show their love and respect for them. Uh, so, Pam and I are married now almost 52 years. Mm -hmm. We met in college, and I was a Spanish major in college, and for 10 years, that would be from 1967 to 1977, I taught Spanish in the Waukesha school system. And I think back about it, what was most rewarding was helping the students learn to appreciate the language and culture. In my early 20s, uh, I taught school, uh, elementary school in Waukesha for a few years and then um, raised our three daughters. And after uh, that, I decided to become a nurse and served cancer and hospice patients for 17 years. For the past 40 years, I've been self-employed and I've developed businesses that involve the sale and installation of, let's see, insulation and windows, spas and saunas, and currently I specialize in retractable awnings. This COVID-19 pandemic uh, has meant that many people are staying home and they want to enjoy their decks and patios. And so awnings are in big demand. I believe that my success in all of these businesses has come from my earning the trust of my customers and always serving them as I expect and desire to be treated fairly and honestly. My life experiences have taught me that my greatest joys and rewards have involved the opportunities that I've had to serve others. And this has resulted in hundreds of very enjoyable relationships. Since I am retired from my nursing career, during the COVID-19 restrictions, I have spent most of my time at home anyway. Um, I enjoy gardening with flowers and vegetables and have been very busy at home expanding some of my planting areas during this COVID-19 period. When I do go out in the community, I wear a mask, I keep uh, required social distancing, and I'm careful to wash my hands, um, including at my volunteer site and church. For me, the COVID-19 requirements have not affected me negatively. So Pam always encourages me to uh, practice social distancing and stay safe when in interacting with my customers, and wash my hands, and use the sanitary wipes, and do everything I can to stay safe. When I volunteer at James Place, I frequently spend time with people who do struggle with mental health issues. Many of them are seeing counselors regularly, but my role is as a friendly listener and encourager to them. I have personal experience with suffering with depression as a young adult and can empathize with their struggles. Suffering with mental health conditions is often very debilitating and affects people's ability to engage social, socially with others, their ability to hold a job and provide for themselves and their family, and to care for their families and their own emotional health. If a person's mental health is not managed and restored to a functional level, it can also lead to suicidal thoughts and actions. Having mental well-being is very important for all people. Uh, in order to be a functioning member of society, as well as to feel good about who they are. The mission objectives of Peace 360 initiative are all centered on ideas and programs that promote positive, safe,
peaceful interactions among people. By choosing to engage with Peace 360 Initiative, we can learn to enjoy and appreciate each other's perspectives on life, as well as our various languages, food, music, sports, and other cultural activities. All these activities are designed to help promote the positive mental attitude that we all need to succeed in life. Engaging with the 360 initiative is one avenue available to people who are looking for help and resources uh, to overcome their mental health issues in a caring way. There's a focus on promoting individual and community health, including physical, emotional, and mental health, and learning to to resolve conflicts within oneself and within one's environment, and with the long-term goal of finding internal and external peace. One of my favorite quotes comes from Robert Louis Stevenson, and I think of it often when I ponder my life's ambitions, and it's a good summary of what Peace 360 Initiative is all about. I'm going to read this from Robert Louis Stevenson. The man is a success who has lived well, laughed often, and loved much, who has gained the respect of intelligent men and the love of children, who has filled his niche and accomplished his task, who leaves the world better than he found it, whether by an improved poppy, perfect poem, or a rescued soul, who never lacked appreciation of Earth's beauty or failed to express it, and who looked for the best in others and gave the best he had. Peace 360 Initiative for All!